Hi, welcome along to another video. All the links to the information shown are in the information section of this video. So we start this week with Fox News, Tucker Carlson reacting to Bill Gates and the Sweden Scopex situation, along with Harvard, of course. This video had over one and a half million views, and that was on the 15th of April. I took that screenshot. So a lot of people have seen this video about it. That means a lot of people kind of got to know about it. So I know it's Fox News, and I know it's mainstream media, but in our world, kind of any media is pretty unusual to be covering this to any level. You can watch what Tucker says. I'm sure it's great. Going by the headline there of Arrogant Billionaire's Latest Pet Project. Now moving over to Zimbabwe. In 2016 covered this story Zimbabwe begins cloud seeding to combat drought so this is five years ago why am I telling you this it's because of this news that's out a couple of days ago Zimbabwe businessman denied bail this is in the Herald businessman Adam James Hartnack who allegedly defrauded the meteorological services department of more than 70,000 US dollars meant for cloud seeding was yesterday denied bail. So, Mr. Hartnack, very naughty person, but they didn't get to do the cloud seeding, did they, with the $70,000? New Mexico, America, from a historical piece in the Santa Fe, New Mexican, April the 14th, 1971, so 50 years ago, State Attorney General David Norville said today he is trying to organise a cloud seeding task force in time to take advantage of a huge low pressure cell expected to enter New Mexico late today. So 50 years ago, New Mexico. To the United Arab Emirates, evaluation of UAE REP's fourth cycle pre-proposals submissions to take place in May 2021. The National Center of Meteorology today announced that the UAE Research Programme for Rain Enhancement Sciences UAE REP, International Technical Review Committee is set to host its meeting from the 17th to the 19th of May 2021 to review and evaluate the pre-proposals submitted to the programme's fourth cycle. During the application phase from January 24th to March 18, the programme's fourth cycle received 81 pre-proposals from 378 researchers affiliated with 159 research and academic institutions in 37 countries. Comprising global experts and specialists in weather modification, etc, etc. So the UAE does this regularly, where it looks at proposals. In this case, it's received 81 proposals to do with rain enhancement sciences and of the 378 researchers they're from 37 countries so if that doesn't explain to you what sort of global interest this is nothing will there's an article in the bite scientists warn that blocking out the sun could have unintended consequences which we would all obviously agree with but we all like an article that talks about the downsides over to China, Yunnan drought update. Now this article is actually from March the 8th, 2010. So from 11 years ago, China. Kunming Information Hub is reporting that the rain and snow that fell last week were artificially triggered. During the drought, the Yunnan government has been occasionally claiming that snow and rain in the province were artificially triggered. CCTV, China State TV, has an interesting video of cloud seeding in action and there's a link to that in the article to Taipei back into 2021 Taipei Times agency research body working on rainmaking flares the water resources agency is working to develop a new version of its ground-based rainmaking flares that can be fired higher into the air but the device might not be ready in time to help with the current water shortage. There's a picture of the flares. 
and at the end of the article the most common chemicals used for cloud seeding are silver iodide, as you know, potassium iodide, as you know, and solid carbon dioxide, commonly known as dry ice, as you know, the most common chemicals used for cloud seeding. Solid carbon dioxide, commonly known as dry ice. So at some point that will become a gas. As it falls and the temperatures rise, that will no longer become a solid, stay as a solid, it will become a gas. Another term for carbon dioxide is CO2. So for 70 odd years, where solid carbon dioxide, commonly known as dry ice, CO2, has been dumped, flared out of air aircraft or ground-based generators and for the last 20 years, all you've heard about is CO2 going up in the atmosphere. If you put solid carbon dioxide into the atmosphere for 50 years, then you're probably going to notice some sort of element of CO2 appearing in the last 20 years. So 20 years ago, when everyone went CO2 crazy, no one actually said, but solid carbon dioxide has been put in the air for 50 years, did they? It was all Al Gore this and Leonardo, Leonardo DiCaprio that, that. There is a connection to multiple liquid phases discovered in air pollution aerosol particles. And it's right at the end of the article. It says, further work will be needed to investigate the physics of three phase aerosols and how they might affect things like cloud seeding. So the article is about understanding that a particle in the air can consist of a liquid, a gas and a solid. And the concern is, is how they might affect things like weather modification. Okay. The source for that is the University of British Columbia. Another warning about geoengineering. In building design, a website for the intelligence of architects. So an architect website. The dangers of white sky thinking. We should be wary of attempts to geoengineer our way out of the climate crisis, writes David Rudlin. So why did I drop those articles in this week? They're fresh, they're out there, they're relevant. And the whole point of that is to remind you that there are a lot of people speaking out about the negative sides of this. So Harvard and their millions, obviously they're going to get to promote their thing, aren't they? But the fact is, is like in random websites, you've got lots of people speaking about how dodgy this is and what they are doing is what you've been doing for years and that's just they're waking people up to what's going on in their own way so it's happening it's always been happening but it's happening if you've watched all this video up to this point then you are the resistance and going by that there'll be no need for a train like snowpiercer 1297 coaches long will there uh, coffee and look after yourselves see you next time